General Motors has a long-standing and rich tradition of employing veterans, and it has an equally impressive history of supporting the United States military. During World War II, Detroit, home to GM, became known as the arsenal of democracy as GM plants were converted to the production of critical war material. This effort played a significant, yet often unheralded role in our great victories both in Europe and the Pacific. And over the years, GM has stayed committed to all those who have served our nation in times of war and peace. GM and the United Auto Workers, GM, have shown an enduring corporate commitment to the VFW. Over the past several years, they've presented the VFW with several extremely generous donations in support of VFW programs. They have substantially, benef that have substantially benefited veterans, service members, and their families. Please welcome GM's Doug White and UAW GM Sal Morana here with us today to share their rich history of veteran support. Good morning, everybody. Okay, sorry about that. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. My name is Sal Morana, UAW International Staff Rep assigned to the uh, Quality Network Department at the UAW GM Joint Facility known as the Cent Center for uh, Human Resources. On behalf of Vice Pres UAW Vice President Joe Ashton, I bring greetings. He's sorry he couldn't be here today. and. Um, I'm very proud to be here in his place. I'm also here with Doug Waite, a uh, very uh, impressive guy. Uh, he's, he works in what's known as the GM Proving Grounds in Mil Milford, Michigan. He's the president of the GM Veterans Affinity Group. This organization, organization advises General Motors on meeting the needs of and hiring of veterans. The UAW and GM partner in many activities. For example, we partner to make sure that our plants are the safest in the world, which by the way, they indeed are. UAW represented GM plants are the benchmark for workplace in the workplace environment. We also partner to build the best cars, trucks, and crossovers right here in the USA. I believe that's important to, some, to all of us. And I hope you all use your GM discount, military discount, when you purchase a GM car. As I hope you saw, we had the GM Silverado first responder truck on display, and it honors the fire, police, and EMS te technicians who raced to the rescue scenes at the World Trade Center in New York, Washington, and Shanksville, Pennsylvania on September 11, 2001. This vehicle is a result of over four months of work to create a vehicle that tells the story of what happened that day. The powerful artwork has stunning images which convey the horror of 9-11. It also lists the names of each of the 441 first responders who died trying to help others. I hope you all had a chance to see it. The UAW and GM have long supported active duty military and uh, retired veterans. Through our efforts, we've been able to sponsor free call days. And as a veteran recently said to us, calling home may seem like a small thing, but it's big to a soldier. We proudly support the VFW National Home for Children. I know I don't have to tell the crowd about what kind of work this place does. We're very proud of the Jokic House we built and named after former UAW President Stephen Jokic. By the way, the UAW GM didn't just write a check. Our skilled trades folks did all the work, laying brick, running wire, and, and many more. It, it was a labor of love. We, we re also recently hosted the Navy Week at the UAW GM CHR. 
and that was a that was a great event. And any and is anybody out there a military mom? I don't see many women in here today. What are they all in the ladies auxiliary? We got one. <laughs> okay. So UAW GM thinks that the military moms are very special people. I hope you convey that to the rest of the moms, okay? Um, we, we, also ha we also host an annual lunch to honor the military moms. And again, on behalf of the UAW GM, I'm very honored to be, with here, be here with you. And now I'd like to turn it over to Doug. Morning, everybody. Morning. I've always wanted to talk with these teleprompters up here. They don't have my speech on it, but it looks pretty good, so if I look at them occasionally, it's a photo op. <laughs> As Sal mentioned, I'm a General Motors employee. I'm a technician at the uh, Milford Proving Grounds. But uh, more importantly, I'm a lot like you. I'm a VFW member, Linden Post in Michigan. I served 29 years. Thank you. I served 29 years in the uh, Navy, active duty and reserve. I just retired this past June. <laughs> Senior Chief Petty Officer, by the way. How many chiefs we got out there? Good to see you, brothers, sisters. Well, when I was here in uh, 2009, I got to tell you that GM is back. Well, we're back with a vengeance. Our chairman, CEO, Dan Ackerson, is a Navy vet. He's a graduate of the Navy Academy, and he set the standards pretty high for us. The goals that he set with our organization, we have been able to achieve in partnership with our UAW partners. Our products are second to none. I'm sure that you saw the latest JD Power results. Eight GM vehicles led their respective segments, including five Chevrolets, one model each from GMC, Cadillac, and Buick. Here's what David Sargent, J.D. Power Vice President of Global Vehicle Research said. If you'd ask me the question, what corporation has the best quality in the entire industry, the answer would be General Motors. It's not bad, huh? Pretty good turnaround. We've had a long, proud history of supporting active duty military and our veterans. For as long as we've been in business, and that's been over 100 years, we have stood behind our employees and our nation. Today, nearly 5,000 UAW and General Motors employees are veterans. Additionally, about, 25, about 250 employees are in the reserve, and many of those are serving on active duty right now overseas. Throughout the years, more than 60,000 GM employees have served the military. To say thanks to them, we go well beyond what is considered the legal requirement to protect their seniority and their wages. And I can attest to that because I've been deployed twice since 9-11 with General Motors. For employees called to active duty related to homeland security as well as those on short-term military leave in the reserve and the guard, we continue to protect their benefits and the pay difference between what they make in the military and their civilian jobs. And we were recognized by ESGR in 2007 with the Freedom Award for that. In short, we're with them when they put on the uniform and when they come home. We have very close to 3,000 veterans working with us today. Close to 500 of them have been hired in the last couple of years. And so far to date, we've hired over 200 veterans in General Motors. We're very committed to hiring our veterans and putting them back to work because, as you well know, our veterans are some of the best employees that we have. They're better trained than their civilian counterparts. They're very dedicated, and we're proud to have them. In closing, I would just like to say that it's been an honor to represent the men and women of General Motors here one more time. My great-grandfather was a World War I veteran, and he gave me some of the items that he had. One of them was his World War I Victory Medal, which I still have. And another, in the same case, was his VFW pin, which I still have and wear proudly. Thank you very much. <laughs>